What stands out to you the most about the way your team played this series? <laughs> um, the way we played tonight was championship caliber baseball. I mean, you know, we scored five runs. It was tough for us a little bit offensively, but obviously putting up five runs is a, is a good night. But the amount of big time plays that these guys made on defense, the amount of big pitches they made in big spots, because I thought Minnesota brought it tonight and they played well and they created opportunities. But our guys time and time again were able to foil something with a great defensive play or a big time pitch and just really proud of that effort because I know we wanted to finish this off and get back home. You mentioned those big defensive plays. Let's talk about two of them, one by Glaber Torres and one by Didi Gregorius to help close things out in that ninth inning. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, GT, what more can you say? I mean, to go over in that hole in that spot, you know, with traffic out there, um, and then Didi, you know, getting another couple big hits tonight, but but a play where they were mounting a little bit of a rally there in the ninth, lays out and 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 kind of calms things down a little bit. Great effort by him. Labor Torres, offense, defense, seems to have done it all this series. Does he just continue to impress you out there on the field? Yeah, he's... He's, he's such a good player. He loves this, this, uh, this, this stage. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah baby. Some tells me you're hoping there are a couple more of these as this postseason unfolds. Yeah, that's, I hope so. But Glaber, I mean, what more can you say? I mean, he's such a good two-way player and, and, and clearly loves being playing in the postseason. What did you think of Severino tonight? Terrific, you know, it was hard for him tonight, you know, and they made him work really hard, but he made big pitches, obviously, when he had to, to get out of that second inning, bases loaded, nobody out. Um, you know, he, he just kept his focus and kept making pitches and then actually thought he settled in really nice in the fourth and gotten a little bit of a rhythm, but, you know, the pitch count was so high, but uh, he made big pitches when he had to and set the tone for us. You gain even more confidence in that pitching staff. A lot of guys had runners on, got themselves into situations, but ultimately were able to bear down and get big outs. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. Um, you know, it's not always going to be easy, and that's one thing we talk about. You know, there's going to be bumps along the way. You just got to keep keep making plays keep making pitches and the next play i always talk about is the most important and these guys uh took it to heart and, and delivered how long do you enjoy this when do you start turning the page and preparing for the next one well we're gonna spend the night here we'll fly home tomorrow so uh we'll sh try and shut it off for about 10 or 12 hours here well i'll let you enjoy yourself thanks for the time Aaron. all right thank you he is not staying dry but i hope you guys are in the studio <laughs> We are. That's that's your job to, to absorb that, Meredith. In the meantime, let's get it back to Michael and Paul. And guys, let me ask you this. One of the hallmarks of the Yankees this season, being successful with so many different starting lineups. How important do you think it was that in these three games, Aaron Boone was able to was able to pencil in the same lineup all three games? Well, I think it was an important uh, factor, but it was also indicative that the Yankees haven't been healthy all year. So they finally have a, a roster that's somewhat healthy, and you could run the same lineup out there all the time. And, you know, just seeing Aaron Boone and it, how the players like him and everything, and they really appreciate him, I, I think he's the manager of the year, Paul. For him to be able to keep this team together with 30 guys on the I.L., so many trips to the I.L., and really serious injuries as well to really important people, I think he's done an unbelievable job. He really has.